Hello. This video is about how to create or how to use the whole feature in Autodesk Inventor 2012. To start off, we need to create a solid so that we can put a hole in it. The dimensions of the solid will, won't matter as much for the purpose of this demonstration, but we'll just make it a one by one. After extruding the solid, we now need to create a hole. Now there's a difference between a hole and a cylinder cut through the piece. You can use the extrude cut feature to cut out any shape from any piece you have. But if you create a hole, you'll have several other options and a set of properties will be attached to that hole so that when you're creating drawings later on, you can reference the hole a bit more easy, easily. To create this hole, we need to first create a new sketch on one of the surfaces, the surface where we want to put the hole in. And on the surface, we need to create a point. After creating the point, we can then use the hole feature to actually create the hole. To use the hole feature, you can either go to the model toolbar and click on hole, or you can hit press H on your keyboard. Now there are several different options for the hole. These four buttons that I'm pointing to right now in the top half of this hole toolbar show the different heads of the holes themselves and the different types of heads that you can attribute to these holes. We'll go with a normal or stri straight hole at this point. The termination, you can choose the termination and if you choose a certain set distance, it will only go till that specific distance. So I can make this 0 0.25 and it will only go to through half, half this piece. Now if I want to edit this feature once again, you go to the browser at the left and then select edit feature. I want this hole to go all the way through the piece no matter what, so I'll choose through all. Now there's also several other options shown that you can have in this hole itself. You can have a threaded hole, and to choose that, choose the third button at the bottom of the hole toolbar. From here, you can choose the specification for the threads in either ANSI, ISO, JIS, and so on. And you can choose the whole diameter as well as the thread size and thread specifications. This, after completing all these, you select OK and your hole is made. If you do choose to create a thread on the hole itself, the threading will actually show up on the hole and you'll be able to see a slight in inlet in the hole feature itself. This is also useful for when making the drawing and it, the threads of the hole itself will show up in your final drawing. Thank you for watching.